Hi there. I've just arrived at my hotel in Leeds. I'm in the middle of my Get Your Life Back tour, which has been this week in Birmingham twice, and then Manchester and Leeds. And we'll be going to various other cities throughout the UK in the future. I'll let you know when and where. But I don't know if you saw me on The Right Stuff last week. I met Paul McKenna and Rosemary Connolly, both of whom, of course, have devoted a lot of their careers to helping people with weight loss. So I asked them, especially for fathappens.com members, what are their best tips? Okay, Rosemary, so you're the lady who knows. How can we get motivated to lose a bit of weight in the new year? Well, the first thing is to decide on a reason why you want to lose weight. Is it health? Is it for a special occasion? Or is it just for you? And there's no point in anybody else asking you to lose weight. You've got to want to do it for yourself. Set yourself some goals, fairly short-term goals, perhaps for the first month. How much do you want to lose in the first month? Maybe £10. If you achieve that, then give yourself a reward. Decide what the reward is going to be before you actually um, get to that point. And then set yourself the next target and the next reward and so on. Also, put something in a carrier bag that represents the amount of weight that you've lost so that it keeps it at the bottom of the wardrobe. And you just keep looking at it, picking it up to see how much cumulatively you have lost. The other thing to do is to measure yourself. Those inches disappearing sometimes will encourage you when the scales are being difficult. And don't worry if some weeks you just stay the same on the scales because it may be next week you lose five pounds. Don't ever, ever give up. Just keep going forward. Failure cannot live with persistence. So just be persistent and imagine how much fitter you're going to feel, how much happier you're going to feel, and how lovely you're going to feel when you can go into an ordinary shop and buy nice clothes. This is um, a revolutionary new technique uh, for reducing and eliminating cravings. It was developed by a brilliant American scientist, a guy called Roger Callahan. And this looks weird, but I promise you it works. It's not just a distraction. It actually changes um, the way that your brain processes information. So if you think about something you crave, chocolate, chips, cheese, whatever, and think about that now and rate that craving on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 is the strongest, 1 is the least. Now, as you concentrate on that craving feeling, take two fingers and tap about ten times underneath one of your eyes. Then tap around your collarbone, then tap underneath your eye again. I know this looks strange, but I promise you it works. Then tap the side of your hand, uh, the karate chop point. Now tap the back of your hand uh, in between uh, your little ring finger. Keep tapping that. Now, keep your head still. What I'd like you to do is to close your eyes and open them. Look down to your right, look down to your left, that's it, keep tapping. Now roll your eyes in a circle, you know, floor to see all the way around, and keep tapping and roll them in the opposite direction, still trying to concentrate on that craving feeling. Now we're going to go to the right brain, and the left brain, and back in the right brain. So I'd like you to hum the bars of a tune, hum happy birthday. Count out loud from one to five. One, two, three, four, five. Still try to concentrate on that craving feeling. Come happy birthday again. Concentrating on that craving, tap under your eye, tap your collarbone, tap under your eye. Now, rate the craving again. It will almost certainly have reduced, and um, for many people, that's enough to eliminate it. Now, within, you know, the first few days that you start doing this, you might need to do it several times a day, but then you need to do it less and less and less as your brain resets and the cravings disappear. So there you are, some exclusive tips just for you. Your fellow travellers on the bus might think you're a bit bonkers, but hey, anything's worth a go, isn't it? Best of luck.